Hi, myself, Sainat Kuturipalli, a senior quant faculty and a GMAT expert at IMS International. And today's video is on a very basic question that often GMAT aspirants keep asking, how much time would one get on an average per question on the GMAT quant section? So let me tell you that there is no straight answer to this question as what this question appears to be. Because in the quant section of GMAT, there are 21 questions and the time duration is of 45 minutes. So when you divide this 45 minutes with 21 questions, you clearly see that on average, you have two minutes, a little over two minutes time to work. And approximately it's around 129 seconds per question. But that's not how it works on GMAT because GMAT is a computer adaptive test. So the system keeps adapting to the performance of the test taker. If you're consistently getting questions right, then there is a rise in difficulty level. If not, if you're going wrong in the questions, then there is a consistent fall in the difficulty level as well. So understand that not all questions on GMAT section, quant section that you work is of same difficulty level. So on a quite a few questions, probably you may end up working it in less than a minute time. And on quite a few questions, probably you may take two minutes time or probably a little over two minutes time if it's a harder question. So, and moreover, understand that there are quite a few experimental questions on this section. And these experimental questions are not weighted. So, and there's no way you can possibly figure out that the question what you're working is experimental or a weighted question. And these experimental questions can be off any difficulty level. If you're working on a killer math question, probably it can consume a lot of time. So understand that so the strategy that you need to go with is when you read a question and having spent 30 seconds of time on it, you should ideally be able to figure out whether would you be able to arrive at an answer? So if you think that you're clueless on how to go about working the question, then the sensible thing would be taking a wise guess and moving on. And remember, if you've already started working on the question and you have spent two minutes of time, and if you think that given a minute time more, you can definitely end up with an answer, that's when you shouldn't mind spending a little more, one um, an extra minute over it and working the question. Because remember, not all questions that you work is going to be of same difficulty level. So harder questions may re require a little more time than two minutes. And an easy question you may end up working within a minute time, as I told you earlier. So, and one more thing. This GMAT Focus Edition test comes with a beautiful feature called Mark and Review. So when you read a question and, uh, and uh, let's say, you feel that it takes a lot of time working a question, possibly you can mark it and come back later at the end of the test section to review it and rework on the question, okay? So, and if it's a killer math question and absolutely clueless, then there is no point marking and reviewing it back again, instead, I suggest taking a wise guess and keep moving on. So understand that the key to cracking the GMAT quant section is the time management. I'm just not talking of the quant section alone. The key to cracking the GMAT is the time management. If you effectively manage the time, then you can end up getting a good score, okay? So to be precise in answering this question, there is no hard and fast rule as such that you should be ideally spending on an average two minutes time per question, okay? So what works better? Like, as I told you, 
Easy questions, you may end up working in less than a minute time. And if it's a harder question, probably you'll have to spend a little more than two minutes time. You should be open to it doing it. And moreover, you know, uh, it's not, it's a very bad idea looking into the timer, every single question. So the strategy would be every 10 minutes, you can look into the timer and see whether could you really work five questions. So one question here and it doesn't matter. But on an average, are you able to work at least the five questions in that 10 minutes time? So that is something important. Okay. So now, and guys, if you have any questions, please type in your questions in the chat box or in the comment box. We will be eagerly waiting to see your questions. And until then, so goodbye to you all and happy GMAT preparation.